Michael Trout here, and this is the very first white paper, so to speak, that I wrote for FoundUps. It's uh, FoundUps 1.0, the uh, lab uh, prospectus, and I actually um, created a digital file hashtag for it in the public key uh, to uh, verify it. And it's uh, the Horizon blockchain timestamp. Very cool. But I wrote this in 2010. And back then we'd call it prospectus. This is where I was using. I think I may have added this logo, lo, lo, local, local, local. I can't speak. Logo later. So I'm going to read this. Enjoy an economic development 2020 strategic plan for global green sustainable startups and development. And um, our goals back then, this is 2010, was uh, first. Uh, First year milestone establish a region as a leading center for student entrepreneurship development in America. Second year establish a state as a as a leading center for student entrepreneurship development. Year three establish a global home for entrepreneurship development. Now understand this was before the whole uh, gem global entrepreneur movement. I believe I'm not sure where that started, but I believe this was before that um that movement or it may have started around the same time so the goal introduce the new concept of the found up stage in the startup you see in um, dave mcclure there was a triangle and he left the top of the triangle off and that is the stage that's the found up stage found ups are simple and fun found ups is a founder with an idea for lean startup bootstrapping a prototype using the Open Startup Innovation Framework. Back then, I called it the OSI, not the um, OIF, OIF, because in FoundUps 1.0, the FoundUp and the Startup were actually together. They hadn't split. In FoundUps 2.0, the FoundUp realized that it was no longer a startup. It was something else, um, and that was a decentralized open startup. Our goal is to establish and create a global student movement for FoundUps. Develop that uses the Lean Startup methodology, FoundUps.com platform, and FoundUps Lab that aims to educate and bring students together, mentors and micro-seed investors in the development of thousands of FoundUps that will benefit communities around the world. Our model, our model is Be Good. I took that model from uh, Google, whose model was don't be evil. So the idea was really simple is don't be evil, be good, right? So we are the the antithesis to uh, to Google. It's not good enough not to be evil. You've got to be good. So here's the executive summary. It is estimated that in the U.S. alone, every year, there's well over 100 million business ideas. Of those, about 14 million get submitted for funding in the form of business plans, and just 24,000 get selected. Of those, only 9,000 get built, and just two to 3,000 are deemed financial successes. If you think about it this way, the startup is broken. If, if out of 14 million ideas, only two to three thousand are deemed financial successes. There is something wrong, and this is what I realized. There is something fundamentally wrong with this, with this, with this, uh, you know, this whole startup. And that's what got started getting me to think, you know, how to, how would I fix it, right? What's wrong with the startup? How would I fix it? How would I disrupt it? Foundups are very important because they take the pain out of doing startups. So what are foundups? A found up is a founder with an idea for a lean startup bootstrapping a proof of concept. That was the, one of the early definitions, or the, I would say the second. The first one was a founder with an idea with a with a uh, with a uh, founder with an idea for a startup. That was a found up, a founder startup. Let's kind of combine those two things together. It is not incorporated. It is not focused on revenue. Instead, it is focused just on the idea, which is how do I solve the play, pain. What is the solution? Or what is the pain? What is the solution? What is the outcome from solving the solution? 
and more, most importantly, Foundups are fun. But there is a bigger crisis at hand. Deep down, we all know it. I personally think of entrepreneurs as Plato's philosopher kings for humanity. Individuals that stand above the others in their vision and goals to do good, seeking to change and make the world a better place with their vision, passion, and determination. I believe it's entrepreneurs that built the pyramid, brought about the Industrial Revolution, um, invented the printing press, the computer, the internet, the, uh, back then the 150,000 uh, cell phone apps, which have now probably about you know over a million, or if if not more. Free a free global encyclopedia, and much much more. And in the years to come, they will make all learning free and accessible to all. They will eliminate our dependence on fossil fuels. They will bring about complete change to our current economic system. Foundup Corp, and back then we were a corporation, seeks to redefine how startups are done and introduce a new lean pre-startup phase called the Foundup and the proprietary open incubator framework. Proprietary, right? I was looking to patent this, pro this process and everything else uh, back then. And had I had the funds, I probably would have. But to, to do a, a patent, um, not a just to hold, it would uh, a, this would have been a very detailed patent. It would have cost probably around fifteen thousand dollars, not the one year hold, which is really a pointless patent, um, provisional patent. It's called to help founders realize their vision. Foundups are easy and fun to do, and the whole process of foundup is to validate the idea build traction, secure the crowdfunding, to ultimately build, build a prototype that demonstrates it. All right, that's it. So get the traction, secure some funding to ultimately build the prototype. So in many respects, what well, ICOs are just doing that, they state an idea through a white paper, okay? They, this white paper builds traction through the ICO, it secures funding, and ultimately they start building the prototype that then demonstrates it, um, you know, as as value. In in many respects, what I set out to do was disrupt Silicon Valley. H how I see this this whole open innovation framework um, system built on the blockchain has uh, just done that. It has it has basically released entrepreneurship worldwide and completely changed the dynamics of it, and not centering it around places like New York and the Silicon Valley. So how does a foundup differ from a startup? We define a startup as a legal business entity focused on doing a highly risky, risky, risky innovative service, product or market uh, business endeavor that either has a niche customer base supporting them or have secured seed capital to enable um, the startup to secure a niche customer in X amounts of time. So basically, it's a legal entity, it has investors, it's targeting a very specific niche customer, and or it will target them, and they have funding to back them to develop, to, to make it down their runway uh, to launch. Foundups is from the concept to prototype. Foundup is from the concept, the idea, to a prototype. That's it. Foundups are not incorporated. They have no paid staff. So that's funny. No paid staff. <laughs> right? um, are run by the chief evangelist officer. CEO in a Foundup is a, is a is the chief evangelist officer, not the chief, you know, um, what does E stand for? Executive officer, and that's evangelist. That seeks to secure traction, support, and funding for their Foundup to become a startup. Foundups.com and tfoundups.com, I forgot I had teenfoundups.com, will provide what it needs for them uh, to do so. All right. So teen, the idea is that we would have foundups which are which are which are uh, for kids, for high school kids. That's why I had teen foundups. Because the other one maybe people may be doing stuff that isn't quite appropriate 
for, for kids. We want to establish 500 pilot found-up labs, labs globally with 10,000 students being educated in found-ups. Found-up corps will do this, provide funding, um, provided funding can be secured with a plan uh, 2011 found-up week global entrepreneur fringe festival. Each lab will run using the proprietary open incubator framework. Um, that Foundups Corp is patenting. Foundups Week will establish thousands of open incubators with over uh, 10,000 Foundup residents. Foundups Corp wants to completely change the entire startup landscape by providing the education tools funding to allow anyone and not just the select lucky few to become entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are not born. Um, they are found up. Entrepreneurs are not born. They are found up. Oh, found up. Right. Discovered. I had to read that a few times to figure that out. Entrepreneurs are not born. They are found up. <laughs> Into found ups. According to SCORE, 85% of all new businesses stay in a community they are established. Imagine for a moment what the ROI would be if we could bring about an army of young entrepreneurs as a result of FoundUp's lab, educating um, youth education programs, running the initiative in 100 regions at 500 plus uh, venues with only 0.5% success rate. Um, startups becoming $1 million companies, right? Only a quarter of percent rate of those becoming that would translate into $750 million annual ROI potential for local communities. Around the world, American found ups, a national American found ups, a national televised showcase of America's top found ups could, in a very short time, potentially explode the initiative to 100,000 regions. When did um, Shark Tank stop? I think it was after 2010. Here I'm describing something like Shark Tank, but not like Shark Tank, you know. So, found ups. There was no Shark Tank. There was no TV, national TV on there. So, um, American found ups. A national televised showcase of America's top found ups could. So, in this case, it would be like showcasing them. So, we'd find them. They would level up. And then it would be a show for them, which would be kind of really cool. I forgot about that. I'm glad I wrote this shit down. Um, in a short time, potentially explode the initiative in thousand regions globally. Uh, the upside to FoundUps is massive. The cost for running pilot to, uh, pilot to test uh, it in just five years is well worth the $25,000 investment each. So each event would only cost $25,000 to run. The fee covers the cost to run the entire program for one year. I think the success implementation of FoundUp's innovation imperative could significantly make the world a better place for all of us. Sincerely, Michael Trout. Had a different phone number back then. 202-360-4467. I bet I still have that number because that, that is um, a Google Voice number. I bet I still have that. I just don't have access to it. Interesting. The problem. No framework exists for developing startups and the systems uh, and the systems taught in universities is built on an old antiquated system that doesn't work in a global society. A global economic crisis, a great need is in a, a, la, 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 a global economic crisis, a great need for a framework that will establish green sustainable startups that drive business diversity and workforce development in all areas of the world. Overview. The FoundUp Lab, a lab for developing and funding startups in colleges and high schools, seeks to fuel, 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 send the word fuel, <laughs> The development of green, sustainable ideas. It's kind, of, it's kind of like looking in here and say, oh, I see fuel. That's Ethereum right there. <laughs> it's not. Just fuel. Just a choice of words. 
but you can you can find anything in here. Um, create a new global social network, social network of micro seed investors, and provide a safe and valuable learning opportunity for students interested in becoming entrepreneurs. The goal of the lab and initiative is, is to apply and teach by doing Lean Startup 2.0 methodology being developed by Eric Reese, Dave McClure, Hitton, Sash, and Steve Bank, and the Found Up Development Fund uh, uh, methods of Michael J. Trout, founders.com. Methods that he has been developing and refining since 1994 with the Southern Shakespeare Festival, the Digital Arena, Genesis Production Worldwide, Eduit, Wikitube TV, and IndiaVerified.com. And now being applied to FoundUps. The instruction of the FoundUps lab would be done by proven FoundUps practitioners trained in the Lean Startup Method and Trout's Proof of Concept methodology, connected via FoundUps.com global network of mentors. Lean Startup 2.0 practitioners, advisors, and new microseed investor network that will help provide the needed kickoff assistance and funding to assist FoundUps. Um, to the seed investment stage, or even possible eliminate or reduce the need for angel and seed funding vehicles by leveraging a global micro seed investor network crowdfunding that that FoundUps will build virally via its lab participants and their stakeholders one community at a time. The startup model has been changing extremely fast because of innovation and software combined with cheap software development methodologies being pioneered. What took millions of dollars to do with large development teams pounding out large amounts of code can now be done with very small teams of developers, one in fact, at, at a fraction of the cost. The cost is no longer in writing code, but in protecting it and the ideas behind it changing it change is happening so fast in software development that universities can't keep up with the latest developments and a lot of what is being taught is nothing like what is needed for the real world scenarios basically he had to teach himself what he needed to know the same is true for becoming an entrepreneur in today's market, except the education vehicle exists. As a result, a new system is being developed by pioneering entrepreneurs called the Lean Startup Method, or what some are calling Lean Startup 2.0. The difference between Startup 1.0 and Lean Startup 2.0 are as follows. Startup 1.0, this is the traditional MBA model that focus on business plans, big investments, big teams, big development cycles, large investments in IP, acquisition to lock down technology, and try to corner the market. They operate in stealth mode and roll out with, with a polished solution that they think will make them billions, billions of bucks. This model worked well for, um, well, when it took large inve investments, write massive codes in order to do massive moves. The days of Netscape, Oracle, Sun, etc. Eric Ries starts starts his talks by showing off uh, the ones that stated uh, that started and failed. Startup 1.0 fails to be nimble and focus on trying to grab large market segments, where a startup 2.0 specializes in agile agility and solving the pain for very specific niche groups and pivoting, changing direction very quickly. For example, YouTube was a dating platform when it first came out. Eric, epic battles have taken place versus Microsoft and Carta versus Wikipedia and Netscape browser uh, versus Microsoft browser, MS and Carta versus Wikipedia and Netscape browser versus Microsoft browser and many others. Others can't get the, the acceptance needed. 
even though they are perfectly executed and coded. MySpace, I think, is probably one of those, right? They came out before Facebook, and yet they couldn't grab the market share as Facebook did. Others can't get accept, accept, acceptance needed even if they are perfect, executed, and coded. Their failure has nothing to do with the brilliant idea and perfect coding, but just other industry pivots what happens, but because other industries pivots and that happens fast, that ultimately made them seemingly perfect solutions obsolete. Take the example of the 800 million perfectly executed stealth developed Juiced. Do you remember Juiced? Juiced was Juiced was um, uh, Netflix, dude. Right? Juiced was this amazing, was but they didn't have the content, but they had everything else. $80 million, perfect uh, stealth mode, lots of juice. I wonder what's happened to them. Um, PVP, uh, P2P beta by Skype founder and, uh, and a classic start, startup 1.0 that failed to gain the necessary traction for success. Right, Startup 1.0 tend to have high risk, high failure, um, both the problem and the solution are unknown. Size and money no longer matter. Speed, flexibility, and development delivery does. Lean Startup 2.0 focuses on small agile teams that can pivot, change, uh, and validate business direction features fast. At, at minimal development costs, and are constantly adjusting to niche customer needs. And that's what we need to be thinking about is as we just build it, see how people respond, do A B, you know, A B testing and um, and just keep pivoting, pivoting, changing. Uh, these projects can start with little to no money or lots can um, and can dominate markets. Post a child, Google, Wikipedia, and Facebook which by the way, were started by college students. All of them were. They are all masters of pivoting. Fake, Facebook now gets more hits than Google. Facebook has not the, was not the first of the market. Facebook focused on, on niche market, whereas MySpace focused on all markets. Uh, that's right, Facebook focused on the student market when it first came out. It was really for college students. Um, with pivots, um, with pivots in a truly brilliant way. Facebook was able to capture massive market segments. Same goes for YouTube and PayPal, which both pivoted away from its original focus. Google is also proven to be a master of pivoting and by doing what they do well and moving their loyal fan base to other um, services, each done extremely well. For example, Google Docs, Google Excel, Google Google uh, File Sharing, Google Wave. A <laughs> big fail. Google Wave didn't happen. Who did they sell that off to, Mike? Do you remember? They open it. Oh, they open source Google Wave. Yeah, okay. Um, Defining new terms, FoundUp Corp, Delaware C Corporation, headquartered in D.C., 10 million shares available for purchase. Lean Startup, Eric Rees, Dave McClure, and others. He started with the assertion that both the problem and solution are, in fact, unknown and um, posed a development path that constantly validates development using customer feedback and loops, customer feedback loops. Foundups, a founder with an idea for a sustainable green slash lean startup, bootstrapping, doing it by spending as little money as possible to prototype or what can be called proof of concept. Every student attending a Foundup will develop a proof of concept. Prototyping isn't a way, isn't new way to test ideas, but the first time we can build them inexpensively and expensively and all can become potential businesses. A found up is an idea to um, to pre-seed investor stage. 
idea to pre-seed at the investor stage. Once niche customers uh, traction or 50 to 100 thousands in crowdfunding has been secured, the found up rolls out and becomes a startup. Until then, it is a found up that operates under the umbrella of protection of found ups corp. So the original idea was we'd have this corporation and all found ups would be projects of this corporation, right? Because there was no Dano. So the, the found ups corp was, was the Dano. And then we would say, hey, you, you need a corporation? You can use our corporation. We're an open corp. Anyone can be part of this corporation. And as owners, you know, as members of the corporation, you would decide. Um, found up lab, a lab like a chem lab or biology lab that teaches new entrepreneurs how to develop and validate and build an idea to proof of concept. The importance of ment mentors, networking, and micro seed investing in the early stage. Proof of concept is a first prototype of an idea that shows a minimal viable features to provide users to a tangible idea of what, why, and how the product will impact others. The starting point. Usually a proof of concept has a back end, but no necessary customers at the time. I added the whole thing of minimal viable product, which is a proof of concept with a customer, a growing customer base. Micro seed investors. Is anyone willing to invest in the found ups that uh, they like and believe in? A micro seed investor. The idea is to make it possible for anyone to invest in found ups. Foundups.com is developing a number of mechanisms and controls that will help ensure their minimal exposure to uh, the micro seed investor and that the funding is used to improve the proof of concept and or secure IP. So that's still the, the thing. Um, I still think that securing IP like, you know, um, names and other things in our ecosystem is important because there is a huge patent um, mill out there and we need to make a, create a patent mill that ultimately then open source the mill to others to use and say, yeah, use my registered trademark. That's a fork. Just pay me a residual royalty for that, you know, for that use. And that's all built into the ecosystem. Uh, business micro seed in, uh, investor, a business owner willing to offer a fellowship to a founder and treat the founder as an R&D investment and invest up to 100000 in cash and in-kind support to the into the found up over a five to 10 month period. So the person who's doing the found up goes into business. He is going to help them innovate. That guy in a chase invests in, in that person's found up. Um, and, um, you know, they get access They are They treat the found up with the same diligence as if they were part of their own existing business. This is important because then this business owner and leader can teach this entrepreneur how to be a business person. The founder, however, uh, is charged with doing all the work, uh, with assistance from mentors, they have to work in the business, learn accounting and all this other stuff, kind of like a CEO in training. They assume a kind of role of a director with veto power over the monthly budget that they're assigning. So the business owner then comes in and says, hey, you know, I disagree. This isn't going to work. I'm not going to put my money towards this, these dumbass t-shirts. These t-shirts these suck. So he has veto pow <coughs> power. Um, they offer in-kind services and it's like uh, office space, collaterals, accounting, legal assistance, business expertise. Um, business uh, micro seed investor fellowship, a five to 10 month internship in an existing company or business where the intern learns critical business skills. So one guy there, it's five to 10 months. They spend half their time working on their found up, half the town working on um, as a, as a, as a fellow. They learn legal management documentation. They move from department to department, um, you know, learning. <coughs> All right. Found it week, uh, a promotional event to educate the greater population about found ups and to establish found ups lab and the open uh, incubators. Strategic plan. This is less than 20 pages doc uh, that replaces a business plan. Found up scrum. 
free open meetup groups for aspiring entrepreneurs, found up labs, practitioners. I, that was our meetup group there, found up scrum. All right, I'll end it there. There's actually pivots and more, but I am coughing and I don't want to cough my way through this rest of this document. And there is quite a bit more. I hope you enjoyed this 30 minutes long podcast of me reading this document, which I'm going to link below that you can read yourself.